Well, this has turned into uh, great filming noises, huh? I think I got one finally. I had to let him eat that a minute to get to that hook. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. And today, feeling a little different, feeling a little weird. We're gonna do a Walmart challenge, but I've got no idea what kind of challenge we're gonna do. Um, we're in the Walmart parking lot right now. I just know I need to, I just wanna do a challenge. I just wanna do something strange, something different. So we're gonna go in here and see if we can't find the strangest thing uh, that we can, and we're gonna try to put it to the test. So let's go in and get it. Let's go. here to the little lure section and see what we can find. Maybe we've got something good. All right, so we are on the aisle. We got some like, here's some bass tackle. I mean, that's not really as crazy as I'd want to be. I mean, I, I kind of want to do something off the wall today. We've got the zoom kits, the little U-tail and the lizard. We got a curl tail kit. We got a, there's a 128 bass kit. I mean, that's got some lizards and worms. I mean, that's not really crazy. Toad kit, spinner bait kit. What's in here? More spinner bait kits, buzz bait kit. I don't, I don't know. I just, I kind of want to do something different. Maybe I need to create my own kit. I don't really know. Um, what about this? I just found something here and it's something I've never seen at Walmart before, but, uh, Look at this. This is a grab bag assorted tackle kit. So you don't really know what's what's in it. How much is that? 988? What's it say? Surprise fishing kit? I don't know if y'all can see that surprise fishing kit. Um I mean I guess I can kinda see this thing looks like it's got a bunch of crappie stuff in it. I can you I mean you can kinda peep in there. Let's uh, let's get one of these, and um, I mean this may be perfect for what I'm wanting. Hopefully it's not all crappie stuff. Hopefully there's some bass stuff in there. Um, let's see if we can't take this to the pond and get on some fish. So let's do this. I've definitely never seen one of these before, so this definitely suits what I want to do today, which is I just feel kind of crazy. Let's just do something off the wall. Um, I don't even know what this is, so we're gonna put this to the test. Um, I'll catch you guys on the water. Let's go. So we are at the pond. Um, next day, I uh, just left Walmart yesterday, picked up this crazy little attempt at what I think is a mystery tackle box, but it's called a grab bag. It's not even a bag, Walmart. This is a box. Grab bag, assorted tackle, and uh, I want to crack the thing open, see if we can't catch some fish on it at the pond. Number one, see what's in it, because it was only 10 bucks, and I'm hoping we got some good stuff, so let's crack it open. All right, so, well, my initial thoughts are this is all crappy, crappy rigs, you know, but we call it crappy. Uh, okay, got some little, little crappy jigs right there with a little underspin, got some crappy hollow body tubes, um, a whole bunch of freshwater swivels. Why would you ever need this many swivels? Um, more crappie stuff. Some bobbers. More bobbers. This might actually work. This is kind of like, yeah, it's a beetle spin. Um, that could actually probably work. Uh, some wide gap hooks, even though they left us nothing in here that can be on a wide gap hook, and they're size ones, so they're super, super small. Um, rod grip wrap. Who does rod grip wrap anymore? Thanks for nothing on this one, and uh, thanks for barely anything on these other things. Okay, so I, I don't, I don't even know what to do. We're gonna use the hooks. I got some worms. We'll use the some the hooks on those worms. I'm not going to use these floats at all. I mean, I, I, that's not going to happen. We're going to see if we can catch some on something like this. The little the little crappie 
underspin lures uh, that may work uh, and then the beetle spins will take some of these tubes um, and or some of these little curl tails see if we can't catch some on that um, I honestly hold little hope on this one but we're gonna give it a shot these are moving baits haven't really had a whole lot of luck with moving baits um, but we're gonna give it a shot let me get rigged up and we'll get on the water so I've got a little beetle spin rigged up up here I've got your very small yeesh I'm not even sure I can get this off I got the very small one aught hook right there for a worm I've got some of my own worms right there and I've got some more of these lures just in case I lose them I want to try to catch one on this the uh, little underspin uh, like hair jig hair crappie jig the beetle spin and a worm and uh, that's that's really the goal three fish because that that box is a joke I think we can catch some bass crappie uh, jigs can catch bass for sure uh, beetle spins catch but dang everything beetle spin and the bandit um, I'm convinced catch everything oh man anyone else get the feeling this is about to be a dink fest it's about to be all small fish I mean, this is not gonna be great also what's going on with these tubes I mean look at that what is this thing what that's just a thick piece of plastic like soft plastic right there it's got like a little bump don't know what that is but can I even cast this thing sort of it's gonna take take a minute to get used to just throwing that out there should be throwing it on spin and tackle but I don't have any with me today because didn't think this was all gonna be crappie stuff. I've got high hopes. I've got high hopes. Three fish. <laughs> Only after three fish. Yes, sir. What I tell you about the beetle spin? Don't stop it. Stop it, dude. Chillax. All right, we can check the beetle spin off our list. All right, so you're not a tagged fish. I want you to be a tagged fish. And I'm going to give you a grip of death right here. Son of a... How many times is that going to happen here at the pond? I do this almost every time. It's, they get so slimy. I don't know why they're so slimy today, but they get on that board and I just can't hold them. I need to hold their mouth. Uh, that needs to be the adjustment. Anyway, he was 11 and a quarter inches. I can't tag these fish to save my life. Chris is gonna kill me. How, how are we supposed to track their growth? Anyway, we're done with the beetle spin. Um, I'm gonna cut the beetle spin off and I'm going to put on the underspin on that one and I'm gonna have the worm ready on the other rod behind me. So let me go ahead and cut that one off this one's going to be the biggest challenge i think i think the beetle spin and the worm obviously the beetle spin's done i just i gotta catch one on this underspin this little crappie underspin hair jig let's get one of these little hair jigs yeah i don't have a whole lot of hope for this one dude walmart how am i supposed to get this get this crap open Oh, and then it just slid right out as a... I swear. My life, really. My line is almost too big to go through the hole. Really? You're telling me a crappie jig isn't meant for 14 pounds? And uh, casting. Hey, casting now. That's going to be fun. Holy moly. All right, we're going to have to loosen you up a bit and keep a good thumb. This is about to suck. Uh, we're gonna nest this reel. You don't stand a chance. I'm gonna have to leave leave a lot of line out when I'm casting, and use the momentum of the bait make it heavier so I can cast it further.
One hour later. All right. I'm going to totally give the hair jig a failing grade only because I'm trying to use crappie gear to bass fish because when I picked up that box it was in the bass section a normal human being like myself with somewhat a little bit of intelligence think hey if it's in the bass section it's for bass right wrong they put really really cheap crappie stuff in that little mystery box said it was a grab bag but they really should have left the crappie section when they were doing that grab bag that would have been really nice this one gets a failing grade um, but again I'm fishing for bass with a crappie jig so you would expect it to fail I mean that's that's a given so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shift to the worm setup because they did give us some wide gap hooks albeit very very small I'm gonna go with a watermelon red shaky tail, which is my favorite thing to fish out here on a small little profile. I'm gonna bite part of it off to shorten it up because this is a short little worm or a short little hook just to give myself a better, better chance of hooking up here. Here we go short little deal there sorry about the uh, tractor noise can't really help that it's grass cutting day here at the pond we're gonna go to these little stick ups we're gonna catch us bass and call this challenge uh done i wouldn't call it completed but done well this is turning into uh, great filming noises huh I think I got one finally. Don't come off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I had to let him eat that a minute to get to that hook. My Lord. All right. So little guy. Knew it was going to be a little guy because the worm is so little. Um, whew. So that's two or three fish caught on these baits. I'm not happy with the size of that hook. I'm going to let this one go. Uh, thanks, buddy, for playing. I really, really appreciate you. Um, and we're going to call this a wrap on this mystery box. This mystery box, uh, I'll give you my thoughts on it here in a minute, but I have a feeling you probably can already guess what I'm thinking. All right, so I'm off the water. Let me give you my thoughts on this Walmart grab bag box mystery thing. Basically, what I'm going to tell you is, is that if it is, if it is not labeled as a bass product it's probably just gonna have crappie and bluegill stuff in it because that's the cheaper stuff they're just trying to push cheaper stuff so my thing is don't even waste your time if you see that in the store i have a feeling it's all going to be similar stuff you may get lucky and find one that's got some bass stuff in it maybe some worms uh but definitely not worth ten dollars truthfully i would not waste your time I, I would not do it on those boxes however if you want to win that box, everything that was in it, plus I'll throw in a couple freebies. I don't know what that'll be yet. Maybe some bass lures, probably. So when I do these challenge videos, y'all know what's up. You got to leave me a like, go in the comment section. Whatever your comment is, make sure you put hashtag Team B Fishing. And uh, as always, hit the subscribe button, turn it gray, hit the ding dong notifications if you want to be notified of any time I release a new video and you're entered. Those three things, like, comment, subscribe. Your comment must have hashtag team be fishing but overall um the one-aught hook's not very good it's too small um especially for worm fishing in my opinion unless you've got a really small worm uh, or you're fishing a grub which is kind of what they had uh, the beetle spin catches fish all the time and the rest of it was just crappie stuff uh, again i would not waste your time on that kind of stuff unless it's labeled that it's got bass stuff in it because the crappie and bluegill stuff is just cheaper that's the reason they did it. That's going to do it for today's video. I'm going to get out of here. I know we got some tractor noise in the background. Sorry about that. Um, if you like this type of content, let me know in the comments. Uh, that can be your comment, whether you want me to keep doing this, uh, these challenge videos at Walmart. Because I'd never seen a box like that before, and I hope to never see one again, honestly. 
Um, I just, I'm not, not too thrilled with it. But if you like the challenge stuff, let me know in the comments. And as always, add hashtag Team B Fishing and you're entered to win. As long as you like and subscribe, of course. We're gonna be doing more stuff out at the pond. It's about to turn fall. And in the fall time, we got a lot to do. We gotta put more structure out here. We gotta start culling fish. So there's gonna be a lot of fishing out here. Um, getting rid of all those small ones. And I think our limit's gonna be 12. So a lot of the ones we caught were under that limit. We wanna get rid of all the 12 inch and under fish. Um, but that can change, especially like today. There was a lot of 10 and 11s, but hey, we need to remove a bunch of those guys uh, to keep the fish growing. That's kind of part of it. You remove the smaller ones because they're eating the forage too. You save more for the big ones to have the forage. And when you get the big ones more forage, they get bigger. And that's what we're after at the Mega Bass Factory. So we are gonna let you go. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.